increasingly from a B2B perspective, your clients are taking matters into their own hands, literally, and they want to partner up with brands who help them think long-term, smart, and responsibly. So what does this mean? Well, 74% of business buyers today conduct more than half of their research online before ever talking to one of your representatives which means that the role of the saleswoman or salesman has to change into being one that is about curation of education, equipping people and challenging them as trusted advisors to do business better, becoming a trusted partner and advisor for them moving forward. And this is not just important with today's generation because the next one's gonna be even more high maintenance. Who's ever seen the show on television called, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? All right. We should all just respond no to that question. <laughs> because according to the University of Otago, Professor Flynn, who studied the IQ test results across every part of the world where they are monitored back to the 1950s, IQ test scores go up by three to seven points each decade. Either kids are just getting smarter or they're learning how to hack the IQ test, which also indicate that they're quite smart. And of course, they're also teaming up with technology in new ways, and they're expecting all of us to do exactly the same thing. According to the Singularity Time Scale, 2015 was the year when computing power trumped the brain power of a mouse. Amazing technological achievement, right? <laughs> but with all things exponential, we are now at the knee of the curve when things start going really quickly. We are smarter today in comparison to all the world's information than will be tomorrow. Isn't this heartening? Right? And by 2023, computing power will trump the brain power of a human in Canada. All right, any Canadians I've totally offended now as well, okay. It's gonna take a little bit longer until that reaches the United States and Australia. In 2045, however, it's gonna trump the brain power of all of us humans in the world combined. In a race against the machines, I think we better start partnering up with them in new ways. Of course, they enable us to augment our human intelligence with artificial intelligence, particularly in a world were the likes of Uber, who felt like they went on a historical journey back to the past when you landed at Vancouver Airport and you opened the Uber app. Was that just me? <laughs> right, it was like going back to the 80s or something, right? But there's a consumerization that all solutions, all buying, should now be a seamless affair, should be easy and frictionless. And in the context of ones and zeros and financial investments, having real-time data about where they're going to spend their IT or their MarTech or FinTech or HR tech budget with you is incredibly important. Mm -hmm.